We may be looking at our final teasers for Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix dropping on Saturday. We don't have an exact time for you, but we do have an exact time for the live event. And I need to correct this from yesterday's video. There was a time change, daylight savings issue when it was initially leaked. So the event officially starts 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Friday, November 1st, okay? We said 7.30, it's not. You can do all the time change things based on where you are at. We will be live streaming here. I'm very excited for this thing. So yeah, cover that. The name of it is the Prelude, of course. And we're not gonna focus too much on event spoilers or things like that today, because we kind of went all in on that yesterday. But there were some new teasers put out by Fortnite themselves. The first one here is just this image. And it seems that the Rift Butterfly is going to be more important than we think. Whenever we see the Rift Butterfly, we think zero point. Okay, we've been talking about the zero point. There's a good chance it does come up during the live event as we move in or move back, I guess, to the Chapter 2 map. There are files mentioning the zero point. This Rift Butterfly teaser plus Fortnite social media has updated their profile picture, the, the banner across a lot of the media to just another version of a Rift Butterfly image. So yeah, just more evidence we should see the zero point. And here's another teaser from, I believe this was Fortnite Competitive, and it's great news, expected news. Want to go for a walk. Pleasant Park sounds nice, and Pleasant Park is basically my favorite POI of all time. We got some reload gameplay in the background, and what do you know, I'm landing at Pleasant Park, all right? It's just my favorite, always loved it, and I mean, we knew it was coming back, but this does confirm it. I mean, we're really expecting all the POIs that were there in those early Chapter 2 seasons, but confirmed is the Agency, the Shark, and now Pleasant Park. And we'll see if we get any more map reveals or any more teasers with our final couple days here before the new season begins. But let's look at the Battle Pass. This is the best look we have at all of the skins. It's kind of been updated every single day. Blortzen uh, did all this. He restored all the images based on the teaser shots. So there it is. This is the best look. And as we have unlocked more of not an HD look, just a clearer image of some of these skins, has your rating of the battle pass went up, went down? What do you rate this battle pass out of 10? While we're on the topic, of course, leave a comment to enter the giveaway for one of 10 free OG battle passes. We will be picking those winners tomorrow so that there's time to add all you guys and give it out right when the battle pass actually drops. So leave a comment down below, code the camp and rusher, put your epic username and you have to be subscribed to the channel. So we'll zoom in on a couple of these skins. Actually, specifically, I wanna zoom in on on Meowsles and Midas. This is the best look we've seen in the video of this skin. And I've said it many times, this is pretty split down the middle. I don't hate this skin as much as a lot of people are saying online. And then here's another cool shot of him. Like, I really do think he looks pretty good, honestly. And I, I think a lot of the reason is people wanted more of a standard Midas skin or who knows all the different reasons, right? We've had so many Midas skins. Midas is a popular character in the Fortnite universe. And I mean, so is Meowsles. So combining them, some people just think it doesn't work. For me, it's working. There should be a full gold style as well as we have seen a teaser of that. But yeah, let me know. Moving on here, we do have confirmation that the new shoes cosmetic that we talked about a couple days ago is going to be wearable next season by many skins. There's a huge Fortnite times Nike and Jordan collab. And again, happening next season, there's going to be many different sneakers like the Jordans, Cortez, etc. And a reminder with these things, the, the shoes will be wearable by a lot of skins, not all. They were set in the files for about, I think it was 390 skins or so out of all the skins will be able to wear them. Which ones will they do? Who knows? I just think it'll be so funny. Certain skins, and it'll probably be the ones that will be the funniest, just won't work, right? Darth Vader throwing on a pair of Jordans? Come on. I'm actually pretty excited about this, but like anything, we just got to see how it looks. I think some of it's just gonna look so silly and funny depending what skins are available at first to allow this. With the shoes coming, will they put you know, some non-collab shoes or collab shoes into the Fortnite OG Battle Pass? I'm not too sure, I hope so. And then what will these things cost? How big are they gonna go, right? We were excited about car cosmetics when they first dropped 
and then they threw on like a 4,000 V bucks price tag on these things and it, the, the hype died down pretty quick. So I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. More info on the Battle Pass. So of course, there was the announcement that all Battle Stars, everything like that is going away. All the Battle Passes will be just based on XP to level up and you will be able to actually progress all of the battle passes at the same time that you own. Festival pass, Lego pass, and then just the normal battle pass. You'll still have to buy them all individually, but there will be an option announced to buy the entire bundle, all three passes for probably a discounted price. But with that being said, I do wanna bring this up. Raging Reaper talked about it. If we're going back to progressing with XP and not with battle stars, are we finally closer to having the OG format again, where basically it's just just a linear pass. You earn XP, you level up, you unlock the next thing in the pass. Very simple. There is some nostalgia here, of course, but the simplicity of this system was a beautiful thing. And there is actually confirmation here from the blog post on how it's going to work related to this topic. Rewards may be claimed in non-sequential order on all the passes still, similar to what we have now, but you'll also be able to set each pass to auto claim the next reward when it becomes available to you. So just to simplify things, I'm probably just gonna do this where it just auto claims your next reward. But if you wanna keep going with the system where you can pick and choose things, I'm sure they'll lock certain things like you'll have to unlock the first 10 to be able to you know, unlock the 11th or whatever. You can't just save up and unlock the 100th right away. Who knows exactly how it's gonna work, but basically the linear pass is kind of a thing again with this new system. All of the battle pass changes will be available in chapter six, and some of them will be available with the OG pass next season here. Next here, we could get a Snoop Dogg car very soon. If you're a fan of the channel, we've known about this for a while, but I just want to drop a little more info on you. It's an upcoming car for Fortnite and Rocket League. The code name for this car that Shine is talking about or Sam Leaks is talking about is Smoke, which would fit for Snoop Dogg, let's be honest. And his festival season is coming up in a few days. This info also dropped a few months ago, and it's the Lowrider Hydraulics Vehicle Mod. Should be released in Chapter 2 OG. Gives your car the ability to jump you can drop it left like the image i'm showing you the car bounciness will increase by a lot and it will have unique audio when driving and tilting the vehicle a lot of people were thinking this could be that snoop dog car or car mod that we are talking about so there is a snoop dog car all of this could be related or it's two separate things but regardless all of that should be dropping with chapter 2 og Snoop Dogg will also perform a concert in Fortnite this November, so keep that in mind. Some type of concert event with Snoop will be happening. A couple major delays have been announced. You may actually have forgotten that this was happening. I kind of did. The first one is the physics update. And an example is being shown on your screen. When this was announced, this is what it's going to look like. And this is now delayed until 2025 Q1. So that means at this point, if they don't delay it again, within the first three months of next year, we'll be getting this update. I mean, it's going to change the look of the game completely. It does look really good. People are worried about performance, but you would assume if they're doing this, they will have everything ready for that. And then another delay is the custom UI for UEFN was also delayed until 2025 Q1. We'll wait and see. That's another big one that I am excited for. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Touch that like button. Cold the camp and rusher. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.